For serious YouTubers, save time and money with TubeBuddy, the premier tool used at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. Apple versus Android. <laughs> this war has pretty much been around since the beginning of Apple's iOS and Google's Android. And this is similar to the whole Windows versus Mac on the desktop, except now it's mobile. And for a long time, I'd say that battle was really uh, fun, as a matter of fact. And it kept these companies trying to one-up each other, especially the fanboys and fangirls in each camp who was adamantly protecting their platform. But now in 2017, I'm thinking, like, who cares, you know? And the reason why I say that is because... There hasn't been really anything compelling uh, from either platform for a while now. And what I mean by that is uh, features or new things that really affect how you use your device or just wow you for a long period of time. So it seems like things nowadays is more iterative. You know, you get faster processors, more memory, beautiful screens, and so forth. But, you know, it's pretty much the same. The form factors are the same. The features are pretty much the same. And more and more, Android you know, is becoming more like iOS. And iOS is becoming more like Android. So they're more like alike than they are different nowadays. Okay, so what do I actually mean by compelling features? I mean, I'm talking about things that last a long time. For example, whenever the Apple iPhone and Google's Android phones first came out, just the fact that you could actually explore the internet, the full internet on your phone, that was amazing. It was revolutionary and it lasted way longer than a few months. It was for years before people grew accustomed to it and it actually changed a lot of people's lives, you know, the, the way they use their devices, the way they connected, you know, the way they um, communicate with people all around the world, all through their smartphones. That's never been done before. And another thing that smartphones introduced was the whole idea of an app store, you know, a mobile application store. And that was also something new, even though it has been done before on a smaller scale with BlackBerry and Palm devices and other PDAs. It was never done in this way. You know, I could primarily credit Apple with doing that, you know, and Google, obviously, they had their uh, Apple their Play Store, I'm sorry, they have their Play Store application store as well. And that really changed the way where we actually use programs on, on our mobile devices because these can be really basic all the way to full featured. So that was something that, once again, just like the whole surfing on the internet on your mobile device, it lasted for years. You know, it's like a cultural shift in terms of like people adjusting on uh, how to use their phones in this way, you know. And then in terms of the other technologies, you know, like hardware wise, the screens. You know, extremely high resolution screens, you know, and even though we might laugh at the screen sizes and quality now, back then when they were first introduced, you had highly responsive touch screens, high resolution, full of color, you know, and watching videos on it for the first time was pretty amazing, okay? And like the other two things I mentioned, those lasted for years, you know? But nowadays in the whole smartphone space, whether you are an Apple or Android, it like, it's like novel but it doesn't last long okay like even things such as like NFC um, fingerprint scanning biometrics and more bigger higher resolution screens it's not something that is changing life-changing okay uh, versus the other things that I mentioned that really altered the way people use their devices how people live every day it really did alter their lifestyle and those were things that I'd say you know when new technologies comes and it disrupts it in that way that's the type of impact that you want you know whenever you introduce new technologies and it's something that's not common you know that doesn't happen all the time and unfortunately you know whenever those things start to become normal and common then there's really not much to uh, talk about anymore you know in this case so at the beginning of uh, the whole Apple versus Android things there were a lot of things to talk about because the platforms were so new, um, there were many innovative ideas, and people were still trying to adjust to this whole mobile uh, smartphone world, you know, and so that's something that I would say it's hard to uh, replicate. And so with that, you know, I don't really feel the need to, you know, get really excited anymore or passionate 
about the next version of Android or the next version of iOS because for the most part they're not doing anything you know uh, long term that's just gonna be like wow this is absolutely amazing where you're just thinking like how is this possible and so now it's more like oh wow there's a new version of the iPhone or the new version of the Galaxy it's kind of like eh, you know maybe I'll upgrade maybe I won't you know whereas back then you were like anticipating what's gonna be done next you know what new ways uh, new ideas are they can come up with and then also how would these new features make my platform better than the other platform so that is something I think that is definitely not as uh, I would say as it, I would say it's popular of a thought as it was back then you know simply because things are like normal now you know things are normal in a smartphone where things are uh, basic you know basic iterations you know and so with that, all of that being said you know I still think that there will be opportunities to advance the whole uh, mobile space I'm just not really sure where it's at besides physical form factors but I'm really thinking it's the type of software that we would have um, you know primarily when it comes to augmented reality you know that is going to be pretty big and virtual reality I really think those technologies that software those types of experiences are going to take the mobile space to the next level and who knows it might bring the whole android versus apple thing back again uh, if these companies can produce really novel experience that are actually useful to a lot of people so those are my thoughts on the whole apple versus android thing i think in 2017 it's just man you know it's kind of boring who cares you know but I'd like to know some of your thoughts, you know, uh, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And as always, if you did enjoy these videos, leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.